Now you uh, now you stop. Okay. Now you start. Okay. Miss, a compound sentence. Remember, it consists of two independent clauses. I mean, two simple sentences, Miss, joined by a coordinating conjunction, Miss. Joined by a coordinating conjunction. I mean the fan boys. Remember the fan boys. Okay, Miss. In our case here, this example here, Grace opened the door and she looked outside. Again, I will repeat. Let me go to Mariam. Mariam, where is subject one, Mariam? Grace. Where is subject two? C. So how many subjects do I have now? Two subjects. Two. Where is verb one? Opened. Verb two. Looked. Looked. So how many verbs do I have? Two. Two verbs. So this is a compound sentence. And I have two ideas as well. Not forget. Can we have more than two verbs? Yes. Yes. But now I'm only going to teach you when you have two verbs. Okay. That's what you are responsible to know. Yes, Ali. Yes, Ali. Teacher, but she she is also, but a, she's also a third right. point of view. What? She. Yes, it is the third person point of view. Also, yes. she. Yes, it's correct. Yes. So still the subject. Of, yes, she is the subject here. An easy way to say. Easy way to say. Compound sentence and interpantic sentences. Compound sentence means complicated sentence, but interpantic simple sentence. Yes, it is like so, but you will learn about something also later called complex sentences. Complex sentences are different from compound sentences. Okay, but if you notice, it's harder, a little bit harder than this one. Okay, so. Compound sentences, miss, two subjects, two verbs, and then we have two ideas. The first or the idea is she opened the door. The second idea is she looked outside. We have two ideas with the sentence. Okay, now, uh, let me go to the fan boys. Sure, I didn't finish. Don't worry. I'm going to ask, ask you. you. Uh, yes, yes, miss. Did you don't you like the math teacher fan boys? You don't like the teacher in math. But for last class, when we did it, like Henry died by chocolate milk, and they say different words. Henry died class. by uh, drinking chocolate milk. Yes. Like this was math. But fan yes, boys. Said, for we we did for math. <laughs> okay. Miss, uh, let me just underline. Uh, let me just use this. I want you to, uh, to underline grace. I want to double underline open because it is the verb. So I'm going to un double underline. Same here, underline. Double underline because it is the verb. Okay, please wait. Okay. Let me uh, make this. Okay, I don't know why sometimes. Yes. So, Miss, now we're going to learn about the different fan boys. We're going to learn about each fan boy. Each boy. Um, yes, 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 yes. I'm scared of Aya. You know, teacher. Lamar is, is using my name. She said, I love you, Mr. Rima. She's using my name. Let her stop using my name. I know my name is nice. Those are represents Asura. <laughs> okay, let me see other students. Kasim, is everything okay? Kasim, yes. clear? Clear? Yes. Sara, clear? clear? Sara? No. Sara, 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 clear? Clear. Uh, Mariam. Yes. Mariam. Yes. Clear. Yes, clear. Hamad, Hamad Saad. Hamad Saad. 
clear, Muhammad? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Lamar. Lamar Ali Qasim. Lamar Ali Qasim. Oh! Yes, I'm Ali Qasim. I'm the one who wrote I love you, Miss Lima. And you thought Ali Qasim wrote I love you, Miss Lima. Oh, she's you. Uh, she's you. Oh, my yeah, God. She doesn't have knowledge like me. She doesn't have knowledge like me. Why is she putting my name? She doesn't have knowledge like me. Uh, okay. Miss, so... Uh, it's why is your name? I don't know what's Tia, Tia, is everything clear? Okay. Tia? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Teacher, I'm the only one who spent this, um, one hour raising his her hand uh, for you. You're using my you name and now you're saying your head. Him and mm. Aya and Kossam, the first ones and the class. Okay. Okay. Because they're special. Miss, we have discounted down. tickets. Miss, calm down, calm to down. To raise our hands. Miss, calm down. So, Miss, let me go back to the fan boys. Okay, we're going to talk about each fan boy. Okay, we're going to start with the four. What do we mean when we use four? I'm going to start here. I'm going to write fan boys. I know. Okay, coordinating conjunction. Force is four. Okay, I'm going to go here. Okay, so I'm going to write. I'm going to write this. Please mute the mic, Smith. I'm going to write this sentence. Okay, first, Miss, let's dissect this sentence. Let's let's pretend that we are doctors and let's dissect this sentence. The first fanboy we're going to talk about is four. Let me go to media. 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 Yes, Lydia. Words, words, subjects. Yes. This is a compound sentence. We have two subjects and two verbs. Yes. We're going to try to find them. Yes. Where is the first subject, Lydia? What? Where is the first subject? Where is the first subject? First subject, I want to put doctor. First subject, Lydia. First subject, Lydia. I want to put doctor. First subject, Lydia. Miss, miss, miss. I, I, yes. I. The first subject is I. Where is the second subject? I went to the doctor for I was sick. The second subject. Doctor. Not doctor. Look at the second sentence, Lydia. Second sentence. Uh, I. I. Where is the first verb? First one. Went is the first verb. Second verb. I went to a doctor for I was sick. Second verb, Lydia. Sure, it's I was sick. Was. Was is was. the second verb. Okay, Lydia. Teacher, just a question. Yes. Just, just a second, Miss. I'm asking Lydia. Miss? Yes. Where is the oh. coordinating conjunction here? Where is the fanboys here? What? Where is the coordinating Where is the coordinating conjunction? I went to the doctor for I was sick. Four. Four is the coordinating conjunction. Yes. Four is the coordinating conjunction. Lydia, do you know what do we mean by four? I'm going to explain it now. Yes, four. fine boys. F no. A heck. I went to the doctor for I was sick. Four means because. Four means because. Because, okay. 
Okay. So it is like saying I went to the doctor because I was sick. We instead of using because we use for. Instead of using because we use for. Okay. For. I went okay, but it doesn't make sense. What's the meaning of I went to the doctor before I was sick? Yes, there's there's two four. Kasim, uh, uh, pay attention. We have two types uh -huh. of four. The, the four that you know is different from this four. This four means because. Okay, this oh. four. Yeah, because. because. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The solution. Problem and the solution. I went to the doctor because I was sick. So the, this four means because. Yes. How many? So this is mm. a compound sentence. Okay, this is a compound sentence because I have two verbs, two subjects, two ideas. Yes, okay. so so I'm sorry, my sister Muhammad Sabra because of Muhammad Sabra name. Teacher, could you stop for a second? I'm still writing not in the in the four. I'm still writing in the compound sentence equals two Aya, subjects. Aya, I will send everything. I will send everything. Aya, skip this page and start with me. Skip this part and begin with me. Leave a space for this part that you're writing and continue with me. Teacher, I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it first. Like I can write it. Okay. And so compound four have two meanings. Teacher, I want to ask you now the question. I want I went to the doctor for I was sick. Two. The teacher is real? No. Teacher, so somehow there's two types of four. Yes, two types of four. Yes, Kasim, that's true. That's true. So, Miss, yes. compound, compound, Miss, yes. compound um, sentence. Here we're using four, okay? We're using four. Now, let's go to the uh, conjunction, the coordinating conjunction. And see, fan boys. Now we reach the A. A stands for and. Teacher, I finished the the example. I want to okay. get the fan boys. Okay, Miss, we use and. I'm going to write this sentence. Let me go to. Uh, let me go to Leia. Could you please? Could you please zoom in? Because yes. here it's so small. Let me go to Leia. 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 Okay, let me go to let me go to Tamara. 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 Teacher, no one likes you. No one's answering you. <laughs> Tamara. No, it's not that. Maybe by mistake they put stay mute. Really? It's not working, I guess. It's not working. No. Let me try with uh, Zahra. Zahra? Yes. Oh, it works with Zahra. Okay, let me try. Tamara, try again. Yes, miss. Can you hear me? Yes, now it's working. Okay. Tamara, so we're going to look at the coordinating conjunction and. Okay, so I like football and I like, for example, uh, tennis. Okay, Tamara, where's subject one? Hi. Okay, where's subject two? Hi. Okay. Yes, where's verb one? Like. Like. Where's verb two? And another minute. 
Yes. So this type of sentence is called what, uh, Tamara? What do we call this type of sentence? We have two subjects, two verbs. What do we call this type of sentence? And we have a coordinating conjunction. Is it a simple sentence or a compound sentence? Compound. Compound sentence. Okay, where is the coordinating conjunction in this sentence, Tamara? And. And. Miss, now I will tell you why do we use this and. We use this and in order to add. We're talking about the same idea. The idea here is sports, right? I added, I like football and I like tennis. So it is the same idea. It is to add, okay? To add to your idea, to your first idea, okay? I like football and I like tennis. So here I use this to add, addition, okay? Addition. I like chocolate and I like candies. So once you see such sentences, we use and because we're still talking about what you like, okay? The, we continue, we use and, okay? We continue. Okay. okay so just like the regular and. Yes, it's just like the regular and that you know, yes. Shira Muhammad Sabra wants to unmute herself. Okay. Let me go to um Now, Noor. Let me go to uh, Rook. You didn't study last night. Yes. Nor did he read or did his homework. Thank you, Paz. Okay, uh, this is a compound sentence. We have two subjects and two verbs, right? So where is the first subject, Ra'a? Uh, the first subject? Yes. He. He. The second subject. Uh, he. The other he. Yes. Perfect. The other he. Uh, the sec The first verb. Uh, study. Didn't study. Yes. The second verb. Do. Or do. There's a there's a trick here. There's a trick here, Ra. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a trick. Teacher. Because I use did, Ra. Uh, because I use nor. See the nor here. Once you have nor, I want you all to pay attention here. Because I use this nor, I uh, pay attention to the nor here. Once you use nor, miss, you have to put the verb before the subject. He didn't study last night, nor did he. So I start with the verb. I put the verb before the subject because I have, what happened? Nor did he. Because I use nor, I have to put the verb 
okay? Before the subject. So the verb is did. Yes. Okay, got it? Okay? Yes. So, miss, he didn't study last yeah. night, nor did he do his homework. Where's the coordinating conjunction, Ra'a? Uh, Fan boys, it is and. It is and. It, it is uh, and, we're done with and. Now, fan n stands for nor. No. This, this is a coordinating conjunction to, that connects the two sentences here, nor, okay? So, thank you, Ro. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. now I want to tell you when to use the sentence. Okay. It means it means when someone does not do something, it means not. So he didn't study and he didn't do his homework. It means not. Okay. Okay. Let me go to Leia. Yes, teacher. Okay. Then I'm going to write. But now. Okay, so I'm going to write the sentence. Okay, where is the first subject layer? Should we write? Yes, yes. Where is the first subject layer? Leia, where is the first subject? Alex felt sick. Alex felt sick, but he went to school. Where is the first subject? Felt sick. The subject. Leia. The subject. It is who the sentence Alex. is. Alex. Alex. This is the first subject. Where's the second subject? Felt sick. Second subject. It is who or what the sentence is about. Look at the second part of the sentence, Leia. After the comma. Alex oh. felt, but he, he went to school. Where's the second subject? Went to. Subject, Leia, not verb, not predicate, subject. Who went to school? He. Okay, Leo. He is the second subject. Oh, okay. Okay. Now tell me. Uh, who? Okay. What is the first verb in this sentence? Alex felt sick. I can't hear. Where is the second verb in this sentence? Here, here. Where is the? Here, Leo. Alex felt sick. Where is the verb? Felt sick. Felt. Yes, this is the verb. We're at here, but he went to school. Where is the verb, Leia? He went to school. Where is the verb? Leia. Leia, he went to school. Where is the verb? In this sentence. Yes. Went. Went is the verb. So, Miss Leia, we have two yes. subjects. We have two subjects and two verbs. Okay? Alex felt sick, but, yes. but he went to school. What do we mean by this but? It is contrast. It shows contrast. What's the meaning of contrast? I'm going to tell you okay. the Okay. I'm going to tell you the meaning of contrast. Teacher, I'm going to teacher, but my net 
teacher, I can't, I, I didn't hear you because my net uh, is not good. Okay, okay, don't worry, Leila. Don't worry. Okay, Miss, I'm going to tell you the meaning of contrast. Okay, Miss, contrast means, okay, opposite. When something is opposite, I felt sick, but I went to school. So it is opposite, okay? I have a toothache, but I ate candies, okay? It is the opposite, okay? It is the opposite, okay? Now, or, okay? I'm going to talk about or. This is really easy, okay? I can teach great four or I can teach grade two. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. Mira Damos. Mira, where's the first verb? Where's the first subject? Mira, where's the first subject? I. The first subject is I. I. The second subject? I. Excellent. The first verb? Can. Can. Teach, teach. Can teach, yes. The teach. second verb? Can teach. Can teach. Where is the coordinating conjunction? The comma and the or. Yes, this is the coordinating conjunction. Great job.